tie this game. Chicago ball, 13.6 to go. Here's Vandersloot. Quigley juggled it. Hands it off. Back to Vandersloot. Five to go. Good look inside, and Stevens lays it in. Welcome to another edition of the Wet Sets. Today, we're going to be breaking down Spain ball screens named for the Spanish men's national team that use these regularly. Now, you're probably familiar with regular pick and roll, right? Spain pick and roll isn't that different. It involves a standard ball screen. There's just one extra twist, another action at the end. You're going to get a back screen for the roller on the pick and roll to free them up for an open layup. So that play that we just saw, you may remember it from the 2020 wobble. Let's take a look at why this worked with the Spain action here. All that stuff at the beginning was just a decoy. The Spain action starts right here with this ball screen from Azure Stevens, standard ball screen. Only now we're gonna get another screen right here from Steph Dolson to free up Azure at the rim. Easy layup, especially when you have a good passer like Sloot to find her. This works really well with athletic bigs who can finish around the rim. You saw Baylor use this a lot with Melissa Smith when she was there to get her some lobs. She's excellent at catching and finishing. So she would come off of these back screens, these Spain screens and do this. The other option in a Spain screen is the person who sets the Spain screen, who sets that back screen can pop for three. That's usually a secondary action. UConn runs it sometimes. We've seen it here in the final four in 2016 with this screen from Brianna Stewart. She comes off the back screen from Morgan Tuck who pops, gets the pass from Mariah Jefferson, and bam. For more basketball explainers, podcasts, shows, breakdowns, all the good stuff, make sure to like and subscribe to the Her Hoop Stats YouTube channel.